see that. What about that song? Very the frequency ranges it occupies are quite quite intense. It's quite like ringy. It's quite but it's it's quite nice, isn't it? A bit of pomp, a bit of pomp and ceremony. Uh good. Hello, dreamers. Good evening. Um the big fucking rabbit season, exactly. Exactly. You know what? I can't believe how many of you lot <laughs> are here before fucking half eight. Uh yeah, well half eight UTC. It's quite impressive. Um the early the early crew, the early gang, the early clan gonna become the early nation or the smelly nation. I, I kinda lost track of where the early gang got to. I think the final conclusion was something about being stinky. Um uh well, well done them, you know. Well well done to the early people and they're a brazen scent. Brazen scent? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I had hoped to do some more of the little uh, music experimentation that we did a few weeks ago. Um, the only thing is this week I have been run off my arse at work and every day I've finished late and the prospect of trying to force some creative energy out this week just didn't really seem all that appealing. So I, I'm sorry about that, uh, but we will try and figure that out for our subsequent streams. Lord knows I do need to find that creative energy somehow due to the whole uh, weekly beats stuff. Um, yeah, so is that. You know, I, I learned something new today. Did you know that this day, Thursday, like the Thursday before Easter, it's got it's got a name. Um, what's it called? More Mori Thursday or something more? I've actually forgotten. More boring Thursday. Easter Thursday. It's got a silly name. Monday Thursday. Which kind of sounds like you're saying Monday Thursday. Monday Thursday. I, I've been on this planet for a great many years. I don't think I've ever heard that before. Monday Thursday. I was almost sure that somebody was fucking making that up. But that's like the Thursday before Easter. Did you know that? Do you know that's called? I think that's good. Wait to hear what it's also called. The washing of the feet. Um... So, uh, washing the feet, yeah, so what you should do on uh, Monday, Thursday, what you should do on Monday, Thursday, is you should wash your stinky feet, early crew, that's what you should do, get them fucking, you know those little, uh, the, the foot well things that have like the, the bubbles and, uh, that's probably just you when you get in the bath, but I mean, um, you know, the little foot massager things that should, like circulate water and like jets and you put like, scented soap and stuff in them. Get that. Get your stinky feet in that. Or one of those places with like the fish. And then they eat like, all your um your dead skin. It's very, very, very Easter, isn't it? Very Easter. You know that? Did you know it's called Maudy Thurs Maundy Thursday? Am I going mad? I've been on this planet a while. I don't unless I'm really suffering from a memory gap, I've never heard Maundy Thursday before ever. It kind of makes me think it's one of these things like, yeah, it's always been called that, but it wasn't always called that last year, or like ever. But everything I can see online suggests that this is this is like well, it's like olden timey things. So I, it's possibly some kind of um disinformation that's been spread very well. Never heard of Mon Monday Thursday in my life. It's fucking real. Honestly, it's real. And not even joking about the washing of the feet. That's what, it's, that's what it is. The commemorating the washing of the feet. Presumably Jesus was also in the early crew. And uh, when he went to go meet the disciples, they were like, Jesus. They were like, Jesus, Jesus. Your feet are stinky. We're going to wash your feet. Because, you know, there are cult fucking foot fetishists as well. Like, Jesus, give us those fucking stinky souls. We are gonna. That's oh, actually not pursue that thought too much further. Easter's a serious time. It's got chocolate and bunnies in it. It's really serious. Um, the theme of smells. Well, you got two. You got two themes to think of tonight, right? All very, very Easter approved, right? Being stinky and washing your feet, and the, the kind of crossover as well. It's great. It's like it's like, it's like a theme. It's like a theme for the evening. Um, anyway, who we got in the chat? No, it's just we'd passed all of that. Rusty Moon was early. Strawberry Cube's actually coined the Stinky Crew a bit, seemingly. Uh, Fairy Fairy Slash. Uh, Stinky Crew represent. 
Um, Dame says, I smell nice uh, as fuck right now. Nice. Not part of the stinky crew then, I guess. Um, whole room smells like Chinese food, indeed. Uh, hello, Brood. Um, hello, Corkscrew. Hello, Pure. Um, Easter Island. Hello, Dr. Odd. Um, he all seemed to be all like uh, energetic tonight, which I guess is maybe because in some parts of the world you've got the luxury of a Friday off your work if you're celebrating the bank holidays. You know, I guess those feet are particularly dirty and stinky. You need two full days to wash them. Um, Fudge, can this finally be the stream we play Eggs for Part? And we'll see how we get on, okay? I've got a roadmap for tonight, and it's not particular. Don't think this is going to be like a celebration of Easter because it, uh, <laughs> it's not really. But um, then again, H.io hasn't really tossed me anything here on on that theme, so we're we're running with what H.io wants really. H.io is the master of ceremonies here. Anyway, hello to all of you. I hope you're all happy and well on this Thursday evening. Hope you're uh, looking forward to an Easter break or at least some Easter chocolate, perhaps. Um, I haven't got any of that. That's quite sad, isn't it? Maybe I can fix that. Pay fucking through the nose for Easter chocolate. Like the the Monday Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I'm glad you've never heard of that before, Rusty Man. Or Brood, for that matter. Monday Thursday. Yeah. Um Yeah, I don't have plans either, Doom. I think that's I'm looking forward to having a weekend of uh leisure. Just, you know, we'll see about washing the feet, you know. I might have already missed my opportunity. Thursday's nearly over. I've not washed my feet. What am I going to do? Um, but what are we going to do with the remainder of our Thursday evening? Well, you can probably imagine. We're going to look at this. It's H.io. It's the horror games on H.io. Um, we could try and hunt for things that are perhaps more appropriate for Easter and stuff. But, uh, you know, there probably won't be. Uh, and besides horror, horror is like, I mean, the whole ordeal of Easter is quite horrific anyway. It's more horrific tonight with the information that we've learned. But there's some interesting looking games on here. Um, I'm kind of, there's, there's a Maratsuki. Um, interesting. There's some things on here that I've spotted uh, that look like they might be worth playing. So we're going to have a look at those. Um, if we run out of those, uh, maybe we'll just pick some random ones from this list. Of course, we'll have a little scroll down, and if something jumps out on here that you're like, shit, Fudge, we got to play this. We must absolutely play this. Five Nights at Freddy's reworked? Yeah, maybe not. Halloween Hospital Escape? Yeah. Your Flexible Auto Family. That sounds strange. What did that say? You're just in time for the three day flex flexathon. What's this? Some kind of Five Nights at Freddy's thing? Gary. It's just Gary. Authors, J Swanson 993 and Gary. Big up Gary. Uh, it looks like it's got cars in it. It's the best I can really make of that. The Call of the Seals. The Seas. Can read properly. These ones look like they could be kind of interesting. Um, anyway, I've already gone through this visual novel about a worm. How are we going? Now we're talking. I've already gone through here. I found some interesting ones, so we'll have a look at those. But of course, it wouldn't be a Thursday stream without some bingo conditions. Um, hang on. I have plans to eat eggs. Yeah. Dragon's eggs. Um, Unga Boonga V2. Easter is literally about a zombie coming back to life. Yeah. It's all good. good. I, I saw that one. Um, Worm Odyssey for Snows. Indeed. Um, conditions we have this evening are tropes of uh, H.io uh, horror games. Um, can't play because reasons by Gumshoe. Queen Faith Spotted by Dr. Rod. Clearly store bought assets by Coconut Bun. Jump Scares. Mouse Takeover, Advertise is free but only partly free, Key Hunt, Stealth Mechanics, and Makes You Laugh. If any of those come up, I'll be taking a shot. We're still drinking the stuff.
from last week, which is our very nobly, uh, almost sexual bottles bottle of um, watermelon and strawberry vodka, um, which I can at least treat to this right now. It's got a nice, it's not got a nice cork on it, which is you know the hallmark of quality. Except for the rib, the ribbed bottle is also a hallmark of quality. Um, no bibbers tonight, lads. Well. Uh, I wouldn't count it out too, too soon. Uh, what's this? We should look at this together. What's this? Uh, I have to keep following the blood trail. Oh, well, this looks interesting. I mean, it's kind of retro styled, so. Oh my god. She's here. What does it say in tags? 3D creepy horror, low poly PSX PlayStation, retro third person shooter. What do you think, Dreamers? It's dark. It says go away. It sounds like it's perfect, doesn't it? Should we have a look? That pop sound is so nice, I don't know, didn't it? Um, of course, there'll be, there might be some other things that happen. Uh, I wouldn't hold my breath for those. Um, yeah, you're welcome to drink a lot at home, should you wish to do so. Especially if you've not got work tomorrow want to. That's important. You have to want to. You have to really want to. Should we have a look at this? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. No. Right. Missing tape. Chapter 2. Okay, can I download it? 78 megabytes. Let's go. There's one called Space Oddity. Space? What on uh, Edge to Iowa? Did you see one called Space Oddity? I didn't see one called Space Oddity. Or do you mean something else? A drink, perhaps? I'm a bit sniffly. You probably hear that. It's a bit, it's a bit gross. I'm sorry about that. Um. Why did... What? Yeah, okay. Uh, Fudge, we're going to miss the lore of chapter one. That's fine. I think we'll survive. I think we can figure it out. We're pretty good at these kind of things, right? Pretty resourceful. Good with our hands. Uh, beer. Cheers. Well, we'll have a drink in a moment. I have no drinks, but I have the green cuisine. What does that mean, Brood? The green cuisine? What, like, pesto? You got pesto? Yeah, we do shots of pesto while we're fucking uh, playing here. It sounds, um... This is quite nice, actually. Shots of pesto. Hey, no, listen, game. Calm your fucking jets, right? Enough. It's one of those games that doesn't really want to work in a window. Thanks, game developer. Go, go, go. Huh. Yeah, okay, that'll work. Uh, it means we... Yeah, I figured. I figured it did. I just... I didn't want to leap to that immediately, okay? It's kind of low-hanging fruit. Um, what's like, um, well, pest is not really low hanging or a fruit, more cheesy, isn't it? What isn't pesto? It's like, it's like nuts and cheese, isn't it? Um, right, good. Okay. That seems to work. That's fine. Is making any sounds. I'm happy with this arrangement for the moment. So let us read this. And we can pour a shot. Right, The Dismay, Missing Tape, Chapter 2. I have to keep following the blood trail. Dun dun dun. It's the second chapter of the project Missing Tape in the Dismay setting. Complete edition of the Dismay Missing Tape will consist of three chapters and will feature much more content and mechanics. Bigger them up for the whole game. That's the way to do it. Um, are we not going to adjust the queen in the room? 
No, she's not here, but we'll we'll get to that, okay? We'll get this. It's, it's later. Much later. Uh as I found out last time, I have to be kind of careful pouring this. It's got an oddly shaped orifice. See this bottle, the orifice is kind of odd. It's got like a, a flat lip. Um, it doesn't lend itself to pouring into a shot glass particularly easily. Um you were saying something about weekly beats pure and I completely um sped past it. I'm really sorry. What, what were you saying? Um hot chocolate. That's, that's nice, isn't it? Isn't that nice? Uh wasted move, mouse look, E use a flashlight, right mouse button, aim of shoot, or restart after death. Okay. Um hang on a second. Right, that'll, that'll do for a little while. Uh, prototype, Adobe Photoshop, Unity, and Blender. Okay, uh, what does it look like, you might be wondering. Well, it looks like this. It's not making any sounds. It's got some nice fire on it. There is sound. It's very quiet, though. Can we, like... Spooky noises. Um... Yeah, pure. I mean, I'll, I'll actually say, in truth, that well, having some new toys to play with has been helpful in a sense. Um, what? Why has it got this weird background on it? Why is the loading still there? Yeah? Okay. It's very dark. Do not adjust your set at home, dreamers. It's very dark. I guess this game really doesn't want to be running a window. I can't see shit what's going on here. Um, right, I'm going to drink now. Cheers. It's nice for that. It's nice. Rolls off the tongue. I'm going to talk a wee bit. It's going to be more text-to-speech voice and like that. I want you guys to hear it. Go! Oh. <laughs> that a nice car. Um, Looks like a Saturn game. It does look odd, doesn't it? I mean, it says PlayStation, like, styling, but it doesn't look like PlayStation styling. I mean... Look at our, our fucking physique. Got like kind of generic guy face, but like Superman fucking abs. There's what well, seemed like massive invisible walls, but I think we're being told to follow the blood. It's too dangerous to go there. To go there. Okay. If you say so, buddy. So what am I doing? Following blood. Blood. What does it say? Go away. Oh. That is really not satisfying. Okay, follow blood. I can do that. But. Um, PlayStation had way wobbler edges, yeah. Is this good? Okay. Is that a health bar? It's so fucking dark though, I can't... I don't know what it looks like on the stream, it probably looks way worse. The skill issue. Okay. Right. I have to keep following the blood trail. 
Okay. I hear you, man. I hear you. Let's do it. Yo 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 What is that? Huge boner. Um I <laughs> got you. This aiming is so strange. Oh, trying to aim at distance is quite challenging, but we're doing it. We'll just kill all the enemies from here. We don't need to worry about any spooks at all. There we go. There we go. Problem solved, sir. Um. I don't want to sound rude, but low poly graphics sometimes is code word for bad graphics. Well, yeah, but it's intentional. Uh, monsters. Oh god, aiming with this fucking thing is horrendous. It's so thick. Whatever. What's this? Here lies a bucket and spade. Memories of the best summer ever. Christ is risen. Killed that one. Oh, we're taking damage from that. Let's not do that too much. I have to follow the blood. But ah, I think that's what was shooting, wasn't it? Idiot. There you go, don't fill the blood that time, huh? What you got to say about that? I went around the other way. What's this? Hey, seasonally appropriate. Easter fucking uh, pumpkin. What? Could you, like, say that again? Okay, right, here we are, reading. Dima and I are almost out of this damn place. This creepy cemetery is cursed. Apparently someone performed a ritual here. Dima is injured by one of these monsters. The monster almost tore off his arm, but I managed to shoot the monster in time. But he managed to touch his arm. We've seen these monsters eating people, but we had no idea they were so aggressive. There is a mansion a little deeper in the forest. I hope you can get to him. Please help us. Uh oh, I think the game just crashed. Yeah, it did. <laughs> okay. Uh. Oh, there we go. Well, that was weird. Why did that happen? Interesting. Um, it was dropping a quick save and because it's like simulating a fucking Saturn it's like what's that is that baddie yeah Uh oh. Got him. What are these tents? What are you doing there? What are you doing, buddy? Ah, yes. The ritual of going into another person's tent. I must perform the floating ritual first. Yeah, here we go. Yo, yo, yo. Okay. 
This is a nice tent. Oh, I'll be eaten by the ten. Ah. Let's go. You need to run a little bit faster when you strafe. It's a lot of blood. Is this all from this guy who got like his arm touched by the monster? I don't think. Uh oh. Monster. I don't know if I've got ammo. I don't see ammo anywhere. Uh, this is what Tim is training you for. Yeah. Uh oh. Taken down. How undignified. What's in here? Wow. Wow. <laughs> what is this guy's fucking problem, man? Any occasion for a... Oh. oh okay, we can get through there. He's, he didn't want to. Let's see if we can get a good look at this. Oh, I'm the flying bitch. Yeah, right. It's so dark and there's no more blood. Um... Well, that's that, I guess. His hand looks kind of strange. I feel like he's holding a chicken thigh. Um, but hey, we did it. I guess. Oh, God. Let's just slip that everywhere. I'm drinking coffee. How did that manage to spill on there? Doesn't matter. It's obviously very excited. Go to main screen. Main screen turn on. Uh, well, that's what that was, I guess. Um, did we get any tricky conditions out of that? Well, I suppose we'll see in a moment. Uh, it was very short, wasn't it? It was very, very short. We didn't really get to the missing tape. In fact, we didn't really get to anything, really. We just followed some blood for a while. Um, there she is. Good. Regality. Very short and sweet. Um, she just says good, because it is good, right? Um, truly the next Metal Gear. Um, you're probably part two. I think it'd be part three. This already is part two. Um, 3 a.m. period simulator. Yeah, follow the blood. Um... Yeah, I mean, it was okay. Well, it was okay. Well, it was okay, game. L little, but little better than chapter one, but this is just my opinion. Don't be mad, because I didn't like that much, but I don't want to judge your game, and I hope you'll just continue the same pattern you started and always keep it up and not give up. Uh, chapter three will be the largest and most developed. We hope you will like it. Yeah, you fucking better. Uh, but, of course, the presence of our... Um, or uh, monarch, queen faith means uh, we have to take a shot. So that's good. Um, we have a queen condition now. Can we make queen faith spotted? Apparent bingo condition there isn't already. Uh, we could like I have been thinking about that. Um, it probably just requires me to get off my arse and and do that. I was thinking maybe we could have like an additional row or something that's just like. It sort of locks in maybe every month or something like that, and then they don't, and then it's like a an extra row of pain, and they could be ones that are actually likely to come up uh, somewhat frequently, because Lord knows Queen Faith, she's busy, she gets around on this itch I O town. Um, right, good.
Uh, right. Uh, cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mm. So what did I think of that? I mean, it was short. It was inoffensive. Um, yeah, the graphics, uh, it was dark. I think a little bit too dark. The gun was a little unsatisfying. I mean, it seems competent enough for what it was. Um, but anyway, let us progress on, and let us progress on to uh, something else. Let's see if we can find something that isn't just fucking retro, styly things, because there sure is a lot of that. Uh, yeah. How long does it say? Does it say how long this is? An hour. Okay. All right. Well, let's let's give this a try. This is my neighbor in the D, um, which, you know, I don't know why I clicked on this. It actually says there, the game takes about 40 minutes to one hour to complete. I can't promise we're going to spend that long on it. Um, yeah, this looks like it could be quite good fun now. Oh, it's bad. What do you mean wrong capture tab? What do you mean wrong capture tab? What are you talking about? You mean this? You can you fucking you fucking triggering me, man. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. I've been doing this for years, okay? We're gonna download the Spanish version. Long ride. Yeah. Um Oh I see, I see. That's okay. That's okay. It's all fine. Nobody panic. Okay. Everything's fine. Everything's under control. Who knows? This could be the next fucking, uh, what's it called? The coffin of Andy and Lily. Hmm? Hmm? I was on that shit. I was, I was on that like a fucking rocket. Um, and I think, didn't the author take it down? That all went bad, didn't it? That all went south rather quickly. Good work, internet. Uh, can't be trusted with anything, huh? Cannibalism? Incest? Can't, you can't just leave it alone? Jesus Christ. Um... I know this dev. He makes good games. Most of the fans have some RPG horror element stuff. This is like coffin, but good. A good coffin. <clears throat> See what I did there. Comedy. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah, that looks pretty good. This person's name is Arcade Kitten. That's cute, isn't it? Let's just mute that. Kind of warbly music while well, we have a look at this right uh i'm gonna pour shots well. i just had one um right my neighbor in the d it kind of rolls off the tongue strange that doesn't it any it's, it's not eddie it's not any it's in the d i need i need i need let me ask you this in needs have you washed your feet today since it's moody thursday You don't need to answer. I don't actually want to know. Right. Um, Ali. I says Ali. Okay. Ali hasn't had the easiest life, but she makes the best of it. There's plenty still to appreciate, like living down by the beach, having a dad that loves you, and being across the street from the best neighbour on the block. My Neighbour in AD is a short, light, horror-themed RPG game. The game is dialogue-heavy and plays out more like a visual novel with light RPG elements. So we might come to regret this decision. Um, the game takes about 40 minutes to an hour to complete. There are two endings, one normal ending and one true ending. Should we look at the content warning? Um, you guys could decide that. Um, Mac users, this game may not work on all Macs. Yeah. 
Those are dead. Uh, let's look at tags. 2D creepy cute female protagonist horror LGBT LGBTQIA pixel art RPG maker and short languages English Spanish uh, Latin America Latin America uh, okay what does it look like it's like this isn't it um but will you flirt with your brother oh that's right we didn't look at the um we didn't look at the content ones we should look at that that's our job. Strong language, brief ableism, blood, death, gore, and cannibalism. Dun, dun, dun. we Just try and stop me, dreamers. That's my favourite fucking thing. We'll start a new fucking trope and we'll call it cannibalism. Thanks very much, Arcade Kitten. Thanks very much, Coffin of Andy and Lily. Do you want to see content warnings for this game? I just read them. Okay, no. There we are. The only memories I have of my mother are from pictures on the wall. As I understand it, my mother left my father some time after I was born. I don't know why, and no one has ever told me. But it did create some tension in my household. Wilma! <laughs> uh, Dad and my big sister Tabby used to fight a lot. Oh, she looks so angry. Um... Are you going to beep on your cat neighbor? After the stream, maybe. Uh, cheers to you, cat neighbor. I don't even know what most of their fights were about. Because at a certain point, I just turned off my hearing aid as soon as the I heard the yelling start. I think it had something to do with Dad being too strict from the way Tabby would rant about it after. But I didn't want to get involved, and I didn't want to pick sides. I love both of them. And didn't understand why they couldn't get along. I was there at the dawn of the third age. Um, and I knew the three of us were capable of creating happy memories together. So I didn't understand why they couldn't always be like that. At one point the fighting got so bad. I remember hearing right before I turned my aid off. I'd be saying something like, now I get why mom left. Angry. I didn't turn on my hearing aid for the rest of the night and actually took it out to go to bed later. But I ended up being jostled awake in the middle of the night by Tammy. Check out this thing. Um, she had a strange expression on and was wearing a backpack over her shoulders. She was pushing her childhood stuffed toy into my hands and speaking to me, but of course I couldn't hear it. She must have realised that though because she looked like she laughed a little to herself and then signed to me, I promise to write. And then she got up, walked out, closed the door to my room, and I never saw her again. Tabby ran away that night. I'm not sure to where. She did right, as promised. She sounded like she was having fun out there, meeting new people, doing new things. But there was never a return address. I don't know how she ever got the letters to us. I was sad I couldn't write her back, especially because Dad and I didn't stay in that house forever. We moved more than once for work stuff, for money, you know. It's just how it goes. So I haven't gotten any letters since. It's been years. I hope Tabby's still doing okay. I carry her and the toy she gave me everywhere. So at least she feels close. Despite everything that's happened, I still like my dad. We get along really well. I can tell he loves me. We're always doing things like playing baseball together, making the movies. He even plays video games with me sometimes. He's actually pretty good. That was just to talk about him being strict. I wonder if part of, I wonder if that part of, I wonder if part of that stuck with him. Because ever since she left, I feel like he's been pretty loose on the reins. He even pushes me to go outside and get out of the house. When I don't want to. Here we go. Yeah. Ali. Yeah. What are you doing? Watching TV. That's what you were doing this morning. Come on, you still have a few hours of sunlight left. Go play outside for a bit. Get some fresh air. Oh, come on. I don't want to go outside. What are the pincers out there? I thought you and Pincer were friends. We used to be, but he sucks now. Hey, language. Well, he does. I'm just finishing up some paperwork. When I'm done, I don't want to see you still on the couch. You can watch my TV later. It's not like they're playing anything new at this hour anyway. That's just... Mate, 
It's a fucking Judge Judy special. I'm gonna watch all of them. Um, ugh, fine. Um, I'm calling it. He's eight and writing letters. No fudge for you. Uh, did not say yeah. All right, sorry. Um, okay. Yeah. Maybe we can sprint and everything. It's got like speedy. Some drawers. What a waste of space. Okay. I hear you. What's on the TV, huh? Reruns. Okay. Books. Okay. Yeah. My father. My father. Let's explore around first. This is my room. A baseball themed friend sitting with his little buddy. No. Oh. Your bed. Okay. Don't. Your handheld console's here. Okay. Softball team tryouts. Nice. Okay, right. What's this stuff? Favorite things. Baseball and video games. What else could a girl need? Uh, I don't know. Chat, what do we think about that? Okay, we're gonna go talk to Dad. Hello, Dad. There he is. Hey, Alley Cat. Didn't I just tell you to go outside? Um, what's for dinner? Not sure yet. I was gonna go to the gross. I was gonna go grocery shopping after this. See what I could make from there. Did we get uh, what's it takeout? What? Don't let me cook it anymore? No, I'm just like really in the mid for a hot dogs. I don't think there's a talk takeout place for hot dogs alley camp. Well, there should be. Maybe I'll make one one day. I thought you were going to be a baseball star. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Baseball stadiums are always handing out hot dogs. Win, win. There you go. Right, that's enough, Dan. Okay, right, let's go outside. Shit, we're outside. E1, M1, right. Um, hi, Yuji. Um, hi, Askus. Uh, I tune into the stream and instantly get jump scared, jump scared by cat girls. Um, well, also, cat, there was cat boy. No, cat man. There was a cat man. All oh, right, it's pretty nice out here. It's been almost years since we moved into this house. Only then is this one. Uh, looks like we'll be staying for the foreseeable future. We're down by the shoreline, which means we get sand lining the streets and palm trees in our front yard. Bitch, what is that? It's pretty hard to complain about being made to go outside with weather like this all the time. The sun's always bright and shining. The breeze that wafts in from the sea keeps things nice and cool. Man, sand, sea. Hey, jumping. It's time to jump rope. Press the correct arrow. Oh shit, quick time event. Press the arrow keys from left to right before the timer runs out. Oh, oh. No. Oh. I, I didn't understand what was happening. <laughs> let me try again. I didn't. Let me try again. Oh. That's easy. Wow. Let's do it again. Up, down, up. Okay. Well, that was fun. There's some sidewalk chalk you left here. Yeah. Right, here we go, chat. What are we going to draw? A cat, a snail, or a crab? Very amoring. Um, cat people in warm sands, I've seen that somewhere. What are we going to draw? A cat, a snail, or a crab? Please choose quickly. Snail. Right. Snail. Beautiful. That's nice. Snazzy. What's this? A missing poster has been attached to the trunk of the tree. It shows a picture of a young adult man. The poster states he was last seen leaving work early uh, for a date he had. There's number to call if he should be found. It's supposed to be hanging here for weeks. Okay. Jumping jacks. That's what these things are, right? I don't know. This is like... This is like a foreign game. 
Nice. Hmm. Maybe Enid will let me camp out at her house till sunset. Okay, let's let's go in here. Called it. Oh, who's this guy? Damn, thought that aid was supposed to help you. For a cat with such such big ears, you really can't hear shit, huh? Well, for a crime, you should live up to the name. Son of a... Clayton. This is Pincer Chase. He's a red crab that lives a little further down the block. Crab boy. Wait, is this a role where cows and pigs and cat boys eat humans? Um, maybe. When I first moved in, we got along pretty alright. He played with me a lot. We used to even lend each other stuff. These past few months, I don't know what happened, but he changed. He's also got such an attitude, and now he hates me for no reason. What are you doing out here? Playing with chalk? Jacks? Ha! Thought you would have outgrown that by now. Hmm. Though I guess you can't say much about when uh, the baby still carries around her dolly. Baby? What are you talking about? You're only two years older than me. Really? And yet you act like you're ten years younger than me. Well, maybe I wouldn't have to play with... Well, maybe I wouldn't have to be playing with such baby stuff if somebody returned my, co my copy of Calamity Heroes. Ugh. Well. Well, where is it, huh? It's my video game, and if you don't give it back, you're stealing it from me. I'm gonna tell my dad, and he'll make you give it back. Huh? Getting your dad of me? See, you are a baby. You can't even fight your own battles without calling daddy for help. I'm not a baby. You think you're so much grown up for me just because you grew that gross caterpillar on your face? Oh, he's got pincer hands. Oh. Um, it's not the first time, Pure, and it won't be the last time. Uh oh. I need. Whoa. That color palette. My, my. Hello. I need is awesome. We're like best friends. We talk like all the time. How old is this person? She lets me help her with her garden in the backyard. She brings over dessert on the holidays. And she smells really pretty all the time. She even babysits me sometimes if Dan's gonna be gone all night. One time I heard Dad tell her that he appreciates spending time with me. I think that's because all of the girls in my life left. If there's only one girl in my life, I won't complain about it in need. Because I need rules. What's going on here? Um, are we fighting out here? He started it. Nuh-uh. Yeah. Alright, calm down. What's happening, Ellen? Pincer took my game forever ago and won't give it back. Pincer? Is this true? I was gonna. Hey, don't take that tone with me. I'll take whatever tone I fucking want. I like your attitude there, Pincer. And I swear, should I tell your father about this? Our day's tomorrow night. I'm not afraid to bring it up with him during it. Tell him. I don't care. I'm pulling your claws out of me? I'm sure he'd love to hear this. The disrespect. Oh, whatever, who gives a shit? You suck and he sucks too. Okay. You told him there, Pincer Boy. Um. Did MLC Manly Badass Hero play this? Uh. Oh, I didn't. It's alright. Are you okay? Better know you're here. <laughs> what? I think I just pressed an F key by mistake and F is F is F in the chat for for just restarting the game. Just like quickly sit through this. I didn't hit F twelve actually, I hit like an early F key. Please tell me we can just like fucking all scroll this. Oh, I did it there for a second. Alright, we just hold W. Alright, here we go. Alright, okay. Um. Right. 
Good. All right. Wow. Yeah, I hear you. Um, dang, I didn't realize I was so good at this. That's right, we're gonna get the good end this time. Nice. Uh, so what do we do now? Where's um crab guy? Okay. I'll need to draw the, um, what do we draw? Snail. Right, there we go. Snail. Right, it is. Right. Okay. I know I'm good, right? Um. The Admirals made to come outside and play with the sunset, but I knew I'd run into stupid old pincer if I did. I wish I could just go home now. Other than that annoying thing, it's just boring out here. I see. Lucky well, for you then, I'm also bored, and I got a matcha cake inside. I can't possibly eat all by myself. She's got some cake. This is why you're the best. Yeah, cake. So how is it? Everything I build it up to be? Oh, this is so good. You know, you like get flavors I've never even heard of before. I don't know where you find these. Happy to expand your horizons. Oh my days. Um, thanks for helping me out back there too. Pince has been so annoying lately. Like more than usual. Anytime, Ellen. And I can't believe you're dating his dad. Ugh. What if he thinks of you as like his stepmom or something? Stepmom. Goodness, you're thinking much further ahead of than I am. I prefer to take things slow. Maybe that's why all the girls down by the shoreline call me such a snail. Indeed, you are a snail. Oh, she she is a snail. Okay. Is she? Okay. But I know, I know. I don't like thinking of myself as a stereotype. Besides, being a snail isn't the only reason I like to take my time with things. You do everything better when you pace yourself. If anything, more people should learn to take it slow. Everyone's all rush, rush, go nowadays. Rushing just causes mistakes and leaves you in a mess. Ellie, are you alright? And you don't think I'm too much of a kid, do you? Huh? Where did this come from? Prince of Kenan made fun of me for it. You know, playing with toys and checks, carrying this old stuff toy around, and I don't know, you need to say what you just did. It's like a part of me wants to be grown up already, but also, is it okay to, you know, take a little extra time getting there? Oh, Ellie, of course. Everyone goes at their own speed. Maybe when you do grow up, it doesn't mean you have to stop being a kid at heart either. I mean, just look at me, for example. I like plenty of things one might call childish or even silly. Really, I wouldn't have guessed that. Like what? Well, for one, I have a cake in my house. Much I have... <laughs> I have cake in my house much more often than I should. Haha. <laughs> And I keep giving, I keep every gift I get, regardless how childish one might think they are. Stuff toys, little figurines, I even keep the bags that they're pretty enough. I still remember one of my favourites uh, being a little gift bag with a smiley clown on it. Do you get a lot of gifts, Amy? I don't want to sound like I'm bragging for anything. How come I never seen them around? I have them all stored away for safekeeping. It'd be too messy if I displayed them all. In this way, I know they're safe. But I hope you might feel comforted in knowing that even grown ups still like all the same fun stuff kids do. Yeah, have you ever heard of a show called Bluey? Fuck me. We just tend to hate it more, that's all. You know, that actually does help me feel a little better. Thanks. You're really... Really? Alright, we've got, we got a decision. Toxoplasmosy. Um... What do we think here? Thanks for being my friend, or I wish I was more like you. Hello, Amir. This is it. This will be the only decision we make in the whole game. In fact, there's two decisions we made. One was, um... One was, uh, drawing the snail. And the other was, uh, this one here. Uh... Can we get some... 
consistency. Yeah, I think we've got two votes for two. Finally, second fudge for a year. Okay, I wish I was more like you. Four. Okay. Oh? You're like all smart, put together. I hope when I grow it, I turn up more like you or something. That's the first time I've ever heard that. How sweet of you. You've got a really big heart, Annie. I'm almost jealous. Oh shoot, I wasn't even paying attention to the sign. The sun's already setting. Should I, uh, get out of your hair? No, I'm gonna stay as long, you stay as long as you like, but yes, might be a bit better if you leave you now. I gotta get up early tomorrow and I'm still gonna make a proper dinner and take a shower. No, yeah, it's totally fine. I've got you some other time, Indy. Uh, Enid? Not Indy. Enid. Thanks for letting me hang out. As I said, anytime. Do you want to date my dad? I wonder if dad's made me dinner. It's hot dogs. Uh oh. Oh. What are you doing here? Are you waiting for a loser? Don't flatter yourself. I've been waiting here, here for you. I'm on my way home, dumbass. In case you forgot, I live on the same street as you. Don't know me. Stop being such a fucking dumbass. You know what? I hope Enid does become your stepmom. You could, like, learn a thing or two from her. Like, how to stop bullying neighborhood girls like a big, dumb baby. I ain't the fucking baby around here. You sure look that way to me. Always whining and crying and throwing tantrums. Anyone would think you're a bigger baby than I am. Until they saw that ugly excuse of a mustache. Wow, she's she's rude. Oh, fuck you. Uh oh You know, I wouldn't have to call you such a baby all the time if you just grew up already. Where's that? Where did it get thrown? What's wrong with you? I don't know why I did that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Really sorry. I gotta go. That's a good throw. Um. In the shower. Yeah. Yeah, it's like I'm normal. The screw this. Whatever. It's only a needs house. This is where she's got all of her uh, trinkets and toys and dismembered remains out. She must already be in the shower. Go on, let yourself in. It'll be fine. It's neat. She knows how to take care of it for me. I hope so I can sleep without it. Okay, no, we're not going to get it. It's going to sleep over. Hey, kiddo, I'm fun out there. No, Dad. What's with the attitude? Because I was right. And stupid pincer was out there and you threw Tabby's doll into the neat house. Pincer's really got you all twisted lately. Want me to talk to him? Um, or his dad or something? Yeah. Yeah, um, you should talk to his dad. Uh, in fact, maybe you should date his dad. Uh, and then, like, both sides of the street could be dating um, Pincer's dad. We've got another choice, chat. Um, be a big girl or not a big girl just yet. Oops. Um, dad on dad action. <laughs> Are we a big girl? Date his dad. Um, we, we, I don't think that's an option. Although maybe getting them to talk would be the, the way to make that happen. But um, What's up with Fudge getting weird? What do you mean? Why am I getting weird? Why am I getting weird? What did I do? Um, so what, what's, the, what's the consensus here? Snitching time. Um... What do we think? It's inconclusive, I think. Um, if we assume snitching time, so that's two for two. Ah, oh, it's difficult. You have made that difficult. Um, so I'm going to split the difference. I'm going to go with what I, I think. And I think she doesn't want to grow up too quickly. So we're going to go with not a big girl just yet. Maybe the next time you see Mr. Chase, if you wouldn't mind. Of course, anything for my little girl. Um, Next time you see Pincer, be a little easy on him. All right. Why should I? He's always the one starting things. 
Uh, I know, I know. He's going through a lot, don't you think? And easy when your dad starts dating someone new, trust me. And I'm not defending him. He's still in the wrong. People usually don't act out for no reason. Most of them don't, anyway. All right, I get it. I'll go easy on him. But if he... I will try to go easy on him. Atta girl. Uh, where's my hot dog? Um... What did you mean that I was acting weird, Dr. Rod? Explain yourself, right? Um, I had a rough time falling asleep that night. I really wanted to have his old dog back, but I was eventually able to relax and I'd fall asleep. I reassured myself that I need would keep him safe and sound. Next morning, first thing I did was stop by Anid's house to try and get him back. Let's play this again. The best. Can we draw more? Okay. So good. How is that weird about our dad? I've, I compared to you lot, I've said fuck all about the dad. Um, I need some hello. It's Ali. I want to know if you found my plushie last night. Hello. There's no way she's still asleep at this hour. She must not be home. Good. Uh oh. We go in. Let's just go in. Go around the back. This is what you do in beachside towns. Everyone just leaves their back door open. Yeah, we're going this way? Yeah. Uh oh. Um, Bodger Man says one furry joke. Uh, one furry joke, and suddenly it's bad. Yeah, everyone loses their mind. You're supposed to be better than us. Go around. Uh, Fudge looking like Jesus too, compared to a lot of us. Did that plushie kill, fucking kill that woman? Yeah, maybe. What's going on here? Let's just keep walking. Keep on walking. Okay, right. What's up? Let's go in the house. Let's go behind the house. What do you got to say? Dot dot dot. I'm playing on my Nintendo DS. Yeah. Hey. Hi. Why'd you shout earlier? Died to the boss. You're playing Calamity Heroes? Yeah. You said you wanted the game back. and I am going to give it back. I just wanted to beat it myself first. Hey, Pincer, why are you so mean to me lately? I don't know. Is it because of a need? Maybe. Could be. I'm uh, really sorry about what I did yesterday, if it means anything. I don't know what came over me. Where is Claus? No, he, he, he did have pincers, but I'm sure Anid said something about getting your pincers out. Um, I haven't had a drink in a while. This game's going on quite a long time. Are we getting any shots out of this? Uh, no. Maybe we should have a condition that's like chat thirsts for one of the characters. Um, three. Oh, yeah. Real crabs pence can also morph into human hands. Yeah, that's true. Apologize for shouting. Oh, jeez, they're such fucking pussies, aren't you? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, you know, I'm, just, I'm sorry, too. I'm sorry. Everyone's sorry. Oh, fuck you. You're a dickhead. Don't do it again. Uh, two or three. Uh, desperation drink condition. We choose. We will choose the pacifism route. Um, their children though did. Yeah, and and children are known for their you know ability to rationalize a situation and be remorseful and apologetic. That sounds like like the behavior of a child. Yeah, that sounds like children. Yeah, not that they're gonna go into tantrums and resent you forever. Um. He's a cunt, but I'm better than him. Uh, hang on, Crystal. Did you buy Crystal? Where are Crystal Creations here? I can't see Crystal Creations name in the chat. Crystal Creation, are you here? If you are here, buy it. For some reason, I don't seem to be able to see your name. 
What? What's that about? Restream. Oh, you're talking about brood. I see. Oh, right. I don't have the brain power for that sort of connecting the dots. I see. You're confusing me. Uh, I'm sorry too. Come on, take the take the high road. I shouldn't have said all that mean stuff either. <laughs> it was a hug. It's fine. Don't spend it. How far in the game are you? Can I see? I'm stuck on the cricket boss fight. Which stage did you get up in there? Up to their farm with all the eyes? Look, I didn't even know there was more than one stage. Let me see where your levels are at. Are you playing the game as the girl avatar? Oh my days. I see, Dr. Rod. I just, I, I didn't connect the two. Good night, Brood. Um. I like how the characters just wait to answer, like, five minutes. They're still waiting. Colon three, how gently. Which I haven't. Yeah. Um. Oh, oh yeah. She uh, looked cooler than the other protag options. What'd you name her? Pinsir. Claudie. Uh, Claudie, nice. I like that name. It sounds really cool. Yeah, you think so? Oh, look at that smile. All right, sick. You want to help being the boss? I know where to get some upgrades. Spill then, because and because grinding for exp isn't exactly helping. Trans right to believe. It's yeah. Um, look, if I actually want to backtrack a bit, the Cave of Shadows says hidden waterfall where you can get a stronger sword. After that, head back into town and talk to the shopkeep. There you can buy. And now what's going to happen, of course, is uh, your dad is going to go talk to his dad. And after they're done making out, he's going to give um, Pinsir a bollocking because um, he was mean. And then it's all going to be reset back to zero. So you see the decision we made earlier is going to catch up with us. Um, will it? Or won't it? It's just a game. Hello. Uh, I forgot how fun that game was. Jesus, it's getting dark now though. Let's get our uh, toy back. Go us to the doll back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. And his lights are on. Isn't she supposed to have that date with Mr. Chase tonight? No way she's home early. Let's go. She's eating him. Oh my god. They're gonna eat me. Uh oh. I don't know what came over me. I probably should have went and told dad or something. But I guess I was just so worried about her that I went inside to look. Man, have you got any cake? I heard there's always fucking cake in this house. Delicious cake. Um, I wish I was raised on a town. I have to wait until my 20s leave this place. Um, this is my first time on a YouTube live. Welcome. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? I'm going to drink to the first time of being on YouTube live. Great, great work, everybody. She's listen. Strawberry cubes, calm down a second, okay? It needs. Uh, there's some notes hanging out in his fridge. To do list: buy a new garden shovel, clean basement, call Reginald, see if he'd like to go out next weekend. Do not take no for an answer. That's strange. Mister Chase's first name isn't Reginald. Who's she writing about then? Uh oh. Pincer's dad's gonna get the fucking chop. It's still cosy. It's still cosy. Actually. Yeah. Behind this door is a hall closet. It is stacked to the top with all sorts of cleaning supplies, mostly still unopened or untouched. Okay. Great. It's locked. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, why would you put it in there, dipshit? Man, this is a cosy house. Got odd perspectives to it, but I won't hold that against it. Okay. They offer no sign of a need or your missing plush. Not to your sense. Okay. You're, you're amazed at how soft it feels. Yeah. A bathroom shower combo with a long orange curtain. It smells like shampoo. Interesting. Your plush tie cannot be found in these cabinets. There's no toilet in here. There's no fucking toilet in here. Where is this fucking woman? This house can't be that big. Okay. 
Uh, we're going to drink the shot. Um, maybe we've got to find the key. It's in here. Did I use this? Receive door key. Okay. So now we're going to get into that RPG trope of like, what's in here? You unlock the door. Oh, this doesn't look so bad. What's this? An empty dresser. Is your hand part full back? Oh, what? What does that mean? I, I don't know what that means. Your hand part. What's this? It's heavy and the candle's old. Uh oh. Oh, that probably isn't good. Have you ever played Mad Father? Dot dot dot. No, there was a chest there. I want it in the chest. I want it in the chest. There was a chest down there, bitch. Come on, go jump. In fuck you. Let's go upstairs. Okay, we want to go home. Let's go in the other door. She doesn't have a TV. I suppose you don't need a TV to entertain yourself if you're like a serial killer, right? But you hear someone coming up the walkway. I need to hide. Uh oh. Uh. Wow, that's not a lot of time. This probably isn't a good idea. Uh oh. <laughs> really? That's a hard fucking game over. Fuck. Fuck, man. I didn't... I didn't save anywhere. I didn't expect us to get a game over like that, to be honest. I said it was a visual novel-esque experience. Uh... Yeah. Could we just have saved at any point? I'm just gonna really... No. I just wanna... I just wanna... Let's get through. Could we have saved at any point here? Am I just an idiot? Uh, we're gonna move on and play something else. I didn't see if we could save the game. I didn't honestly check, but... I assumed we couldn't. So it wasn't even on my mind. Yeah, I know, I know. Could we? Indeed we could have. Well, whoops. Uh, whatever. Uh, I think we'll spend enough time on this game. It's cute. It is cute. So we'll leave it at that. We got to the good ending, which was we uh, got caught. I don't quite know exactly why that was a bad end, but apparently it was a bad end. Um, yeah, forget to save or... Um, I was kind of enjoying this one. Yeah... Yeah, I was quite enjoying it too, but um, at the same time, it soaked a fair bit of time. So we can play something else now. You see? That's the beauty of it. Uh, unless you guys are really hell-bent on seeing what happens. I mean, it's probably not going to take long to play back to that point. Just by holding down W, it'll probably take like two minutes. Uh, but I think we should go do something else. Lord knows this pace of uh, gameplay is not for everybody. Now we watch Manly play it. When you say it like that, now you just feel like, you you feel like I've cheated you out of that. I didn't expect it to have like a hard game over. I don't even quite understand why that in itself was a game over. Like, what? So, so what, what was the ending there? Did she kill us? Was she unhappy with us? What did we do wrong exactly? What happened? Like, why was that a bad end? Very interesting plot and art. As a trans person myself, I was really happy to see Claudie. Love her so much. Um, great. Great, everybody, great. Well, you know what? Maybe we can revisit this. 
Maybe. Damn that ending part two where she tells her dad and go after her. Okay. Well, I don't know. We got the we got the eaten by a need but and ending, so uh well done. Everybody. Um She frowned at you. Because she killed a man and she will kill Ali. Uh to be fair, the game never told you to save. Yeah. Is there an ending guide we could just look at? No. Um, but, well, people have posted the endings on there, but I don't listen to other YouTubers just shooting the shit, actually. Uh, it's fine. Who knows? Maybe we can play this again in like another setting or something. But for tonight, we're going to keep the pace up. We'll have a finite amount of time together, dreamers. And I'm glad we got to check that out. Chat seemed to quite enjoy that. I thought it was okay. But now, 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 I think it's time to play something that's very appropriate for this time. You were literally hiding. Oh, come on, Pure, that's a bit fucking weird. I'll give you that one, but I resent that, right? Stealth mechanics, my arse. I mean, how are we even supposed to know that, I mean, that's pretty fucking extreme, right? That it's like you have 10 seconds to choose a place in the house to hide. And it's not just any place. It would seem it has to be the right fucking place, right? So you'd have to you'd have to have precognition to know, oh, hey, I, this is a hard game over if I lose this, right? It's it's not like, oh, you make a mistake and you can get the bad ending. It's like, no, no, the game ends based on what happens here, right? And Maybe there was a clue there. I think the clue was perhaps that she hadn't slept in her bed. But um, you got 10 seconds to think about that. And it's not just hide anywhere. It's apparently you have to hide in the right fucking place. Hiding in the wardrobe is not sufficient. I mean, where else could we even hide in there? You literally hunted for a key. Oh, for God's sake. Right, you're getting, you're getting stealth mechanics, right? You're not getting all these ones. It's too late, okay? We closed the game down. You're not getting all those ones, right? So, what do you think this is, Christmas? I think this is some kind of fucking festive period with like eggs and bunny rabbits and washing of feet. We're gonna have one shot, okay. And yeah, of course, ha the coffin of Andy and Lily under bed. Um, and yeah, but we had 10 seconds to like fucking figure that out. Right, okay, enough. All right. This game doesn't have any reviews, so it, it might be a virus, but I think this is very appropriate for this time of year, you know? It's called a Chest Sweeper. And it's got what I guess are mimics in it. You're provided with a set of instructions. Read them carefully to determine which chests are safe to open. Does that sound fun? Fuck it better. It fucking better. Let's do it. Um, you said that when it happened. What did you say? Um, drank a fuck ton of cut brandy. Now I gotta take a wicked shit. Nice one, Corkscrew. Thanks for sharing. Um, cheap vodka. Nice. I love that mimics always have a giant tongue. It's uh, yeah, I, I love that too. Actually, it's it's one of my favorite things and and the uh, whole of creation actually. Um, it's an interesting thing to see. Giant tongue. Giant tongue. The giant tongue washing of feet crossover we've all been waiting for. That's right. It's the Easter. The final Easter with uh, level 10 Jesus. This game doesn't have any reviews. Um, so, you know, it's, it's just a Unity trawler, so it should be okay. I'm kind of drunk, fuck me, I'm, I'm fucking drunk. Okay, let's just turn that down a bit, right. But it sounds spooky. It sounds very spooky. <laughs> okay.
Right. Alright. Chest sweep, bro. I sweep all the chests. Right. Take it. Can we meet that for a second just so we can hear ourselves think? Right. Alright, here we go. Welcome to the vault. There are hordes of riches in this room, but not everything is as it seems. Oh, gosh. Many of these chests are mimics, which will quickly devour you if you are not careful. Okay. You'll be provided with a set of instructions. Read them carefully. To determine which chests are safe to open. Once you think you've opened all the chests containing treasure, you may exit the vault. But be warned. Uh, attempt to leave unopened gold or gems will set off a dangerous trap, preventing you from escaping. Right. Um, this sounds like it could be, I don't know, when it says, um, they will quickly devour you, uh, I don't know. We're gonna find out, I guess. I suppose I need to pour another shot. Right, let's do it. Right. Attempt to exit the vault. Okay, right, let's, let's have a look here while I pour a shot. Um, hello, it's a show. Um, a horny game. It could very well be a horny game. It wouldn't be the first one. What do you mean I can't take my handgun? Can you get in there? Fuck's sake, stupid fucking ribbed bottle. Right, that'll do. Right. But what is this? Where did it go? I want the instructions. Right. Okay. Oh, look, that's interesting, isn't it? Right. Uh, right. Welcome to the vault. If you want to escape with the treasure in this room, you must pay close attention to these rules. Remember, a chest is only safe if exactly two of the following are true. The chest to the right of it is blue. The chest to the left of it is red. The chest in front of it is wooden. The chest in front of it has a flat lid. The chest behind it is blue. Fuck, man, what is this? What is this? What have I gone into with this fucking shit, right? Alright, let's have a look here. Let's look at the ones we can see while the instructions are open. The chest in front of it. Which way's front? Right, this is gonna be the front, right? Flat lid. The chest behind it is blue. Right, well, that doesn't count on that one, does it? That one's flat. This is the front, right? We're gonna assume this is the front. I can't see any blue chests. Are these blue? Is this blue? That looks like purple. I don't see any blue chests. Right, so let's just assume blue chest is a, is a red herring. Um, the chest for us are flat lid. The chest in front is wooden. Right, wooden. Um, open. Hey, right, good. Yeah, I'm so good at video games. Holy shit. Um, Okay, look, look we're, we're so good at this. Uh, right. Um, well, I think we can say with certainty, chest in front of his wooden, chest in front of it has a flat lid. That means that anything that's like, like these ones should in theory be safe, right? Because they have, they're both wooden and, and flat lid. Like, let's test this, let's test this theory. Apparently we've got three health, so we can afford to fuck up a bit, right? Cheers, by the way. Mm. Bitch. Right. Um. So what we said, all of these are right? So. Um. This one? Yeah, do it. Magic. Holy shit. Fucking gamer. This one? Oh, Jesus. 
Alright, so why wasn't that right? The chest in front of it is wooden chest. I suppose it's any... It doesn't have to be all the same ones, right? We're, we're getting a bit cocky here, right? We're getting cocky. Oh, that thing's gross. Jeez, I don't want to do that too much. Um... But which ones are, is this blue? Which ones are blue? Um, the chest behind it's blue. Well, at least this one blue is like a fucking red herring, so it has to be the chest to the left of it is red. The chest in front of it is wooden. The chest the chest behind it is blue. Unless this is blue. Oh, does it say? Oh, okay, so this is... Uh oh. Oh, so it's like Minesweeper. We can say no. It doesn't say what colour it is, though. But we can kind of see better that it's a green colour. So that's blue, is it? Right. Right, I see. Good call, Fairy Slash. Uh, right, so let's look at the instructions. Um... The chest behind it is blue. The chest to the left of it is red. Well, that's red, so... Let's try this one. Monster! Oh, Jesus. Okay. Ah, oh, jeez, Louise, right, okay, initial cockiness gives way to the harsh reality of opening chests that have mimics in them. But when it says left of it, I mean, does it mean the left of the chest, or does it mean my left? But it doesn't matter, because both of these are red. So, I guess, fuck that. Um... The chest behind it is blue. Is this blue? Right, that's blue. Alright. What's this? Alright, blue, All right. Uh let's try this one. Monster? Good, right. Right. This is hard, man. I should have picked a smaller grid. This is gonna take all fucking night playing this. You could have been looking at fucking um fucking Cats drawing snails on the pavements and discovering dismembered bodies. Instead, it's like, ah, yes, minesweeper, but with mimics. Um, what color is this? White, I guess. Right. The chest behind it is blue. Right. Does that apply to any of these? That one. Chest to the right of it is blue. Chest to the left of it is red. Right, so if I assume left means our left and not the chest's left. Which would seem a bit strange. So we got this one here. Chest in front of it is wooden, that doesn't hold true. The chest in front of it has a flat lid, that doesn't hold true. The chest behind it is blue, that doesn't hold true. The chest to the right of it is blue. Right, so it's not this one. Right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna lock that. Right, there we go. We locked it. Right. This one. I don't think this meets any fucking conditions at all, actually. I think this one's trouble, so we're gonna lock this one. Lock. Lock that in. Right, this one. 
Ah, uh, right. Fuck me. Maybe we've got them all. Maybe that's it. Maybe we've done it. What does this say? Uh, this one. Right, let's look at this. Chest in front of it has a flat lid, no. Chest in front of it is wooden, yeah. Chest to the left of it is red, no. Chest to the right of it is blue. No. I mean, that's blue, but... That sounds risky. This is intense. The chest in front of it is okay. The chest to the left of it is red. The chest to the right of it is blue. None of that holds true. Was that say the chest to the right of it is blue? Right, that's right. The chest in front of it is wooden. That is right. Let's open it. Fuck it. Yolo. What does that mean? There's fucking nothing in that one. What does that mean? Fuck, man. Chest the front of it is wooden. Chest the left of it is. I can't tell, it's got a big tongue on the chest the right of it is blue. Um. None of that's true. Chest behind it is blue. How can I see what these ones are, though? That's. I don't understand. It's blue, chest left, it's red. Chest behind it's blue. This one. I think we got eaten. As if all these fucking tongues were going around. Can we try like smaller? Think about that. Alright. Uh, why is this? You gotta watch TF2 screams of different top versions of it. That sounds thrilling, yeah. You got your ass ate. I should be so lucky. Uh, right. The chest to the left of it is red, it is blue. Why isn't this just like on the screen all the time? Why do you have to keep right fucking clicking, right? So, it's blue, a chest on any side of it has a flat lid, so that one. Right. It's blue. That one. What? It is blue. A chest on any side of it has a flat lid. What? Hang on. It is blue. That one was blue. Wasn't it? A chest on any side of it has a flat lid. Uh, that one has got a flat lid. What? 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 Am I... Do my eyes deceive me? What? I don't fucking know. Are you telling me there's a difference between blue and purple in this game? Purple hasn't been mentioned yet. I'm not sure purple exists. Are you t do you tell me the game developer decided, oh yeah, we'll have blue and purple and the... Whatever. Fucking hell. The chest behind it has a rounded lid. Right. That one. For fuck's sake. What the... I wish my chest was less flat. Yeah, indeed. Indeed. Okay. Chest to the left of it is red. Chest on any side of it has a flat lid. Chest to the right of it is wooden. 
I mean, it does say exactly two, so I guess that means three. Which means that this is probably not the right one, right? Uh, a chest on the right is wooden, the chest behind it is a rounded lid, it is blue, it's not, the chest left is red, right, okay, let's do it. Monster. Ah, oh, thank fuck. Chest and left of it is red. Chest on any side of it has a flat lid. No. Chest behind it has a rounded lid. Right. So it can't be this one. It can't be this one. It is blue. Chest left of it is red, that's true. Uh, no, chest to the right of it is wooden, no, chest behind it has a rounded lid, right. Fuck it, YOLO. Monster? Treasure, let's go, right. Fuck me, this is, this is hardcore, right. Chest to the left of it is red, it is blue, no, a chest on the left, any side is a flat lid, yes, chest to the right of it is wooden, doesn't have a right, chest behind it, right. So this one, lock. Chest behind it has a rounded lid, yes. Chest on any side it was a flat lid, no. Chest to the right was wooden, yes. So those two are true. It's not blue. The chest to the left of it is red. So in theory, this one should be safe then. Chest behind it has a rounded lid, yes. Chest to the right of it is wooden, yes. Open. Monster. Treasure. Great. Right. Chest behind it has a rounded lid. Chest to the right of it is wooden. No. Chest on any side of it has a flat lid. No. It's blue. No. Chest to the left of it is red. No. Lock. None of those sold true for that. Chest behind it has a rounded lid. Oh, well, actually, hang on. Chest on any side of it has a flat lid, that one. Chest behind it has a rounded lid, yes. Chest to the right of it is wooden. Chest to the right of it is wooden. Right, so it's not this one. This one has too many conditions, so my assumption is this one is a, a trickster. Chest on any side of it has a flat lid. Chest to the right of it is wooden. It's blue. Chest behind it has a rounded Chest behind it's rounded lids. Chest on the right of it's wooden. It can't be that one. Oh no, it can be this one actually. Chest on the other side of a flat lid. Down. Right, okay. We're going to open this one. Great. Great, okay. I've only got one health, so this is pretty, pretty hardcore, isn't it? Blue. No flat lids, chest to the right but it's wooden and the chest behind that's around. That is true. Chest to the left foot's red. Chest. Alright, so we're gonna say this is trouble. Flat. That's so both of those are true. Rounded lid and it has a wooden Chest to the right of it is wooden. That one is wooden. Chest on any side has a flat lid, right? That one's flat. Chest behind it has a rounded lid, right? So that's too many, right? So I think both of these are traps, right? I don't... Oh, fuck you. I mean, I'm struggling with this as it is. Uh, chest behind it has run the lid. No, chest wooden. Chest left of it is red. No, flat lid. Yes. 
scripts for the chest behind us have rounded. So this is the last one I'm curious about. So that was a rounded lid, wasn't it? That was a flat lid. That doesn't matter. Chest the right of his wooden. No. Chest. He said it was a flat lid. That one. It is blue. No. The chest and left of it is red. Right. Right. I think we're done. I think we're done, dreamers. Right? I think we're done. What do we think? What do we think? Am I premature? Am I done prematurely? Drunk driving, but minesweeper. I don't think that any of these other ones... Alright, let's do it. Yeah. Okay, we didn't. <laughs> let's just do it three by three. Can we do that? Can we, can we at least win once? I don't want to get eaten by mimics all night, okay? Fuck's sake. We'll, we'll play another game in a second, right? I want to see if I can do a 3x3, three three, right? That's easy. Chest front of it is metal, the chest behind it is metal, chest left of it is metal. This almost seems harder somehow. Come on, can we at least see the winning screen? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Just behind this metal. There's no blue any. Oh, well, there's blue. There's blue. Right, so it's not that one. The chest behind it is metal. Yes, the left it's metal no, the chest in front of it is not coloured. What? The chest in front of it is not coloured. Chest the right of it is blue. What? I chest paint is blue. Chest front of it is metal, the chest, chest front of it, the chest behind it is metal, uh, chest right of it is blue. I think this one. Monster. That's no, just empty. Okay, cool. Chest behind it is metal, chest right of it is blue, chest front of it, oh, I don't know that matters because it's not got anything next to it. Chest front of it is not coloured. Chest behind is metal, no. Chest in front of it is metal, no. Chest to the left of it is metal, no. I think that's it. I th How can there be any more here? How can there be any more in here? Chest in front of it is metal. It doesn't make sense. Chest in front of it is not coloured. Right, that one. Chest behind it is metal. Chest left of it is metal. Chest in front of it is not colored. The chest in front of it is metal. I don't think any of these other ones are. I think these are all traps. Personally, I don't see how any of them meet the conditions. The chest left of it is metal. Yes. The chest the right of it is blue. No. The chest in front of it is not colored. Uh, chest for it. Let's do this one. Fun. Right, I'm getting out of here. Right, that's fine. Let's go. Bitch! Bitch! We did it! We only had to reduce it to, like, fucking baby size, but we did it. <laughs> fucking did it. There we go. Got the treasure. I got eaten by mimics on two separate occasions, but that's okay. That's okay. Worst things happen at sea.
Good work, everyone. All right. Good. We managed to steal the treasure. I don't even know what the objective of all of that really was, but. All right. Well, we got a little bit of time left. So how about how about going back? Full circle. Hmm. Some uh, retro styled horror. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah. Carney Verisrins. Yeah. Trapped in, his, in her own apartment, a mother finds herself unable to keep her insatiable baby fed. So she decides to feed her baby on the only bit of food she has left, herself. That's right. It's another uh, deviation on the theme of cannibalism. Yeah, you happy about that? But yeah. Cute game. Was it cute? Was cute the right word to use when talking about mimics? Are mimics cute? I'm hungry for games that involve eating. This is this is part of um it's part of like uh the the sort of the, the Jesus lore, isn't it? It's like you eat, you eat of my flesh. Isn't that that's like that's like Jesus quote, isn't it? That's like an official Jesus quote there, isn't it? Eat of my flesh and it'll turn into like some ass kicking fucking uh cheddar cheese or something like that probably not cheddar cheese actually I bet Jesus strikes me as a lactose intolerant kind of guy oh it's it's doing things Oh yeah, it's fucking retro theme. Did you know that? I'll show you that quickly. It looks like this, by the way. I don't have either of those things. I've got a headset. Okay. Well, before we look at that, let's read the description first. Matter est dia. Okay. Short 50 minute psychological horror game about motherhood and never, never ending parental love in the style of late 90s PSX games. Features audio and CD quality and even full motion videos for maximum 90s authenticity. Full controller support featuring two control schemes. Do whatever, do whatever every good mother would do. Take care of your baby no matter the costs. Okay. What does this say? My mouse cursor is going all weird. What's that about? That'll be the root kit. That'll be the cheeky wee root kit. Uh, 3D atmospheric first person horror indie low poly PlayStation psychological horror retro and short. Okay. Um. Uh. Be, if people find bulldogs cute, I'm not surprised people find mimics cute. Cannibalism is officially Easter. Yeah. Jesus. Lactose intolerant Jesus is not what I expected to hear today. Um, well, what do you, what do you, what would you like to hear? Because we started the stream talking about the washing of our feet. Um, Jesus not telling milk into wine. All right, so this is just like fucking. It's like propaganda, is it? It's the left, lefty fucking propaganda. Jesus turning milk into wine. Doesn't understand the fucking supply chain issues involved in doing such a thing. Completely unaware, of fantastical nature of his claims. Not paying taxes on that wine, you know, because there's duty to be paid on wine. You know, if you're going to be manufacturing wine from, uh, it's water, isn't it? It doesn't need some water into wine, not milk. I don't think he turns milk into wine. Where did that come from? Is that biblical? Jesus turning milk into wine. Well, maybe that's what you're saying, Rusty. Man. You're, you're explicitly saying he didn't turn milk into wine because it's cheese. But going with the water, right? The left want milk wine. To be honest, I want milk wine. I think milk wine's an untapped fucking resource there. I want milk wine. I want some fucking milk wine. I want some fucking milk wine right now. Um, you get milk vodka. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't have that, so we're gonna have to make do with uh, watermelon and strawberry. Fuck me, man. I don't know. I've worked tomorrow. I feel absolutely fucking hammered. 
That's loads. Why did I pour so much in that fucking glass? Idiot. Um, do you like Dr. Pepper? We're not turning Dr. Pepper into wine either. Um, and Lord Jesus, on the 827th, 27th day, woke Jesus turned soy into milk and pronouns. Good work. Good work. Right, okay, right. Wake up once again. Let's do it. Is that our baby? Can we turn the baby into wine? Cheers. God, that was so much fucking alcohol. Oh. That is one ugly baby. Okay. Monday, 8.36am. Oh look, we've got like, it's like tank controls, oh god. No mouse look. What's this? I still cannot comprehend what happened to my once beautiful baby. Got hungry. I think that's the idea. There is no world outside for me. Oh yeah. What's this? Can we like look around? Feed the baby. How should I keep feeding my baby? Okay. Let's watch television. Yeah. Baby? Baby? Fucking hell, hen. You know, you're indoors, you can take your crocs off. What's this, baby? A baby cries out for me. It longs after the care and love as only as I, its mother, can provide. It's been restless and insatiable for a few days. I can't steal its hunger. The cries fill my heart with despair. I birthed it and I shall provide it with what it seeks, but I do not know what I can feed my child that then what give it what's mine. Um, be a loving mother. Make the child feel safe and loved. Be a caring mother. Satiate the child's needs. Okay, what are we picking? What are we picking, dreamers? Are we satiating or are we loving? Okay. Um... Okay, two seems to be the resounding option there. Let's be a caring mother. Okay. Oh, oh. Hey, an ear. Watch my baby eat my flesh eases the pain. It, it warms my heart knowing that I did good. Pflicht einer Mutter endet nie. Und so tut es auch ihre Liebe nicht. Nur ihr Fleisch endet und verwest. Thursday. <laughs> That's right, stream day. It's stream day, you gotta put the baby to bed. Things are a bit of a mess in here. This is kind of like it's it's like a racer head, but if it was like a PlayStation game. I'm hungry. What can we eat? We go in the fridge? Oh. Oh that's interesting. Let's do that again. In you go. Oh. What's this? That's blood. That's what that is. Okay. It's a lovely day. Bridge moment. Wow. What if I'm hungry? What do I eat? Hmm? Pictures from my holiday in the Lake District? Oh, it was beautiful. Fucking beautiful, mate. Fucking Lake District. Fucking best shit ever, mate. Fucking best shit ever. 
It's got lakes, hills. Oh, look. It's very religious. That's very Easter. Kill it. You'll be forgiven. The wall texture is like expanding. It's mysterious. Uh, hey Fudge, if you could remove any food from existence, what would it be? Um, I don't know about removing a food from existence. That sounds quite extreme. Like, I don't know what knock-on side effects that might have on the rest of humanity. I mean, personally, I'm not particularly mad about um, tomatoes. Really, I don't. I don't really care for tomatoes that much. I think tomatoes are okay, but like, like I don't know tomatoes. I'm I'm just not really that mad about tomatoes. Raisins. I don't like raisins either. Um, or sultanas or anything like that. Um, baked beans. I don't know if that really counts as a food, but I, I probably wouldn't. I could do my. I could live the rest of my life quite happily, not ever having to eat baked beans again. Um, beyond that, I don't know. Baby. Baby. The reverb. They reverberate within the deepest depth of my heart, awakening the feeling that only a mother can feel. The baby is yearning for me, for my love and care, but mostly for my flesh and blood. Yeah. Um. Those where people eat animals live. What about pizza? Um. Uh, as a joke, I condemn you to hell. I just don't like them. I mean, I don't cast judgment on people who do like them, but at the same time, I don't like them. So, if you, your question is, if I could remove them from existence, yeah, I, I would. I'd prefer to. In fact, if anything, I think if I'm being holistic, right? The thing is, because raisins can sneak into food, right? You can have like a nice fucking. It's like a sticky toffee pudding or something, and you're like, this is the tastiest shit ever. And it's got like a fucking raisin or a sultana or something in it. And you're like, wow, they ruined. I was really enjoying this and now it's spoiled forever. So actually, tomatoes, at least, you know, you know when a tomato's coming, right? It's like Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. You know when the tomato's coming. But, but uh, you know, raisins and like little dried fruit like that, that, those are subversive. They catch you off guard. In food, it's like finding bugs in them. Exactly, Rustyman. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, if I was eating them explicitly, I probably wouldn't mind them so much. But it's, it's when you find them and you're not expecting them, it's like, oh, I wasn't really looking for that. Uh, so what are we thinking? Uh, what are we thinking? Two, uh, one sounds like it's got the general approval. Um, let's go for uh Give and you should be given. Okay, let's do it. Why not? Uh oh. Did we just chop out her eye? Oh shit, the baby's eating her eye. My baby needs my body more than I do. I shall suffer so it doesn't have to. Pain does end and love never does. Okay. Speaking of food fudge, I recently had Moki for the first time. I had that, actually. I don't know if it was for the first time, but I had that a few months ago. Uh, I think the um, the neighbour and the protag of the last game were eating Moki cake or something, weren't we? Die Mutterschaft leben, doch kann sie dieses wieder nehmen. So ist die Mutter Gott und Tod zugleich. Yesterday. In other news, the body parts found by local residents two days ago could be identified by the police. The victims were Mary Lewis and Anna Gilbert, two single mothers, both in the early 20s, who will be sorely missed by the relatives. It is unclear who the culprit is, but the police has warned that they are highly dangerous and still out there, looking for new victims. Since some body parts still have not been found as of now, it is assumed that the culprit is highly knowledgeable of human anatomy 
and probably has cannibalistic tendencies. Dear listeners, be careful out there and do not forget, whoever committed these atrocities, their soul can never await salvation. Sinners deserve punishment and never forget to feed your child and keep your baby happy. Keep your baby happy. Okay, so what's the moral of the story there? Are we not chopping our own body parts off? Are we murdering? Is that the idea? Um, the, the bait and switch is we've been fucking murdering people. Okay. Stupid baby. Stupid baby! TV's on its side. Can't watch that anymore. Is that it's like a cat bed? Why don't you feed the baby the cat? I'll keep it going for a while. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we look inside? I want to look inside. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah. They did say to keep your baby happy, though. I mean, that's important. You do need to keep the baby happy. I like how the tap is just like a black 2D sprite. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Never have a wane. Indeed. Oh, I like this strawberry cubes. I think I'm going to be working with more um, Scottish people in the near future. That's exciting. I can say strange Scottishisms and they're not going to just look at me strangely. Mary Lewis and Anna Gilbert. I shall never be forgiven. I shall never be forgiven. Baby, we didn't cut out our own eye. Instead, we killed someone and we... Fed the baby with the dismembered remains. Because that's good parenting. Baby. 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 As my flesh dies, so does my soul. Its hunger is never satisfied. I feed it endlessly day and night, but I do not know if I can give it any more. I hear its voice. I can feel its needs in my heart. It's tearing me apart piece by piece. Why am I doing this to myself? For you formed my inward parts. You wove me in my mother's womb. The hands of compassion women boiled their own children. Pure thanks to... I don't really know what either of these answers mean, to be honest. Okay, so we got one for two. Well, the body's hidden in the baby. I mean, that's that's pretty good hiding. They're never going to think to search the baby. Uh, two. Okay, I think two is the resounding uh, winner there, so we're going to go for two. Every fucking choice is like, get the fucking knife out. Oh, it's a heart. Uh, oh, it's a heart. Mmm. Ventricles. Not much of myself is left at this point. Watching it tear my flesh apart makes me wonder if it also devoured my humanity and sanity. Fleisch wird zu Fleisch. Das ist der Kreislauf. Fleisch muss sterben. So that neues Fleisch leben kann. Every day. Every We well, can't be that dead, I and mean, we've still got our locomotion. All all this is telling me is that children are a lot of work. Mata est dea et mors. Yeah. Can you like walk off the edge. What is this shit? 
We walk in here. We have to knowingly step in. Let's do it. It's, it's incest themes again. It's incest themes again. I just knew it would come back to this. It's very Easter. You baby grew up to be an edgelord. Sex shader kit. Nothing more Christian than cannibalism than incest. It's been the theme of the evening. Let's cling to life. Never. Do you mean never? What, are we back at the start? Have we got more game to go? New game plus. New game plus, everybody. Where you at, baby? Baby! Baby! Baby's dead! Fuck you, baby! What's this? Why did you return? See if your decisions could have changed your fate? Decisions are only an illusion except death. You were born to be a mother. Even if your actions were different, the outcome would have always been the same. Can you feel how your soul leaves your body, which is devoured by what you call your offspring? Let go and be assured. Sinners will be punished by the divine judge. Rotten souls do not await salvation nor forgiveness. And then the game shuts down. Um. Okay. Maybe we're the baby. You ever think of that? Maybe we're the baby. I'm the baby. With the baby. Oh, it's a baby. With the baby. Okay. Good. Uh, well. Well, 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 well. Pre atmospheric first person horror, indeed. Low poly. Did we read all that already? I think we did. Uh, this game is so good. I'm ready to be a mother, actually. Just in case anyone is like thinking of like start a family I am ready to be a mother having played this informational training video uh, on how to be a mother which is you have to be ready to sacrifice everything including your heart and your eyes to your baby I am ready to be a mother everyone I'm ready I'm ready so you know Queen Faith spotted that means it's time for another shot which is perfect because we're already 10 minutes over Great. Fucking nice one. Have a child with your sister, then eat it. I'm, I'm, no, actually, you know what? I'm okay for that. That's, that's, I don't think it's appropriate. Fudge is pregnant. Well, well, not yet, but you know, any uh, bachelors who are looking to start a family, you know, I, I have the skills. I have the credentials now. Starting a family. I know what I know everything there is to do with raising a child now. Uh I guess it's a murdering spree. Feeding your baby your heart and then jumping into a giant funnel. I mean, what else is there to uh, child rearing? I mean, I, I don't know how so many people have difficulty with it. All these fucking asbos and stuff like that. It's easy, just fucking feed the baby your heart. I mean, they'll never cause trouble if you do that. Um 
Fudge, how do you feel about spicy food? I'm not mad about spicy food that exists only to be spicy, but I like spicy food that is a bit spicy. I don't like I don't like pain. I don't really want pain in my diet, but if it's spicy, spice is nice. I like a bit of spice. But not too much spice. Does that make sense? Um Better yet have a child with your cat man dad. Cat man dad. And the cat man me meow bop man up meow. Bop bop man up meow. Me Yeah. I'm the cat man. Uh cheers to cat man dad. Uh well this is great. This is great. I'm gonna be steaming in my own time. Thanks everyone. Thanks everyone. Thanks for your contributions, everyone. Um, great jobs. Queen Faith put it succinctly there. Great jobs. Great jobs. Great jobs, everyone. Catman John. Um, no, what was the, what did I think of that? It was charming. I mean, quite straightforward, but um, yeah, it's interesting. I don't, I don't really make too much sense of it, but it was um, it was reasonably well put together. I guess uh, didn't really have too much game elements to it. It was more just kind of walking around. Who is Queen Faith? Queen Faith is uh the patron saint of itch.io. Queen Faith plays everything pretty much and as a result we see Queen Faith appearing on pretty much every game that we try and play as well. She seems to like the horror games. She also doesn't seem to do commentary. I'm sure Queen Faith would not object to me doing this but Queen Faith doesn't do commentary. I think that's a good trait actually because I don't know. I wouldn't want to listen to me. I wouldn't want to listen to any YouTuber, actually. Um, I'm so sad that Queen Faith never played any game I was involved in. I might just die. you got to tag it as horror. That's the trick. Tag it as horror. Queen Faith will be on that shit in no time. It's royalty. Exactly. Exactly. Um, well, Dreamers, we seem to have reached some kind of conclusion. And if nothing else, I'm probably approaching the level of drunk that continuing from this point on is unwise uh which is a bit of a shame i guess because it's i'm not actually working tomorrow so the only thing that's preventing me from playing longer is uh my own stamina there's a little part of me that's tempted to boot up fucking what was that game called my neighbor indy and see if we can hide somewhere that um gets us out of the insta-death, but I, I don't know if I can really be bothered. I'm tired. It sounds like everybody's tired. I think everyone's tired, so that probably makes a good point to bring things to the conclusion. Dr. Odd's tired. we got to let Dr. Odd go to bed, and that's important. Um, Dreamers, this has been a lot of fun tonight. It's just, I never really ceases to amaze me with the the random shit that comes up and what's amusing i guess is that there was almost a an under current theme to all of this uh which uh is kind of haunting in a way um hopefully you've had a good time dreamers um i know i have i've enjoyed your company this evening thank you for uh bearing with it all and um, we do this every thursday although i will tell you dreamers now those of you who are bothered to stay to the end of the stream there's going to be no stream next week um Maybe with any luck this weekend, this long weekend, I can come up with something to make up for that. But there'll be no stream next week. So you can have a week of rest. Um, yeah, there you go. The celebration of washing your feet. We've made it through it in one piece. Um, hope you had a good time. Damon's very kindly posted a link to the Discord. You can join in there and you can talk to these mental dreamers should you wish to do so. Uh, otherwise, I'm steaming, so that's a good protocol for me to like fucking duck out at this point. Um, I hope we've had a good time, dreamers. It's been fun tonight. Um, with any luck, uh, you'll stick around and we can do some more fun adventuring together next time. 
So yeah, happy Easter dreamers. Hopefully you've got some Easter chocolate and if nobody's going to buy you some Easter chocolate, consider going out and just buying yourself some Easter chocolate. And you know what? Top tip. You don't have to do it this weekend. You could wait until after Easter's passed and then buy it when it's like on sale because the shops are trying to get rid of it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be the Easter eggs at Easter weekend, especially if nobody gives a shit, right? And I don't give a shit. So go and buy the cheap Easter eggs when they're on cheap, which would not be this weekend, probably. Um, but if you do have Easter chocolate to eat, then fucking enjoy it. And if you've got other Easter things to do, like, I don't know, washing your feet or, I don't know, attending church or something like that, then please enjoy that. Or if you're just going to sit around and play video games, enjoy that too. Whatever you choose to do with the weekend dreamers, please enjoy it to its fullest. It's been a fucking pleasure. And hopefully, with any luck, I will see you on the next one. Good night, dreamers.